Okay, people. So what I'm doing right now today is uh, I'm going to show you. I showed you the other day on the other film, the one previous to this, how to uh, uh, tie these things and pull your colors. This one in particular was pulled uh, at different colors. So we got like four whites. Um, eight, eight whites, I'm sorry, eight whites, four blacks, and four mixed gray. So it's kind of giving us it. I'll show you the color when it's done twisted. So I split them up into three different sections. Okay, this is so I can twist these. Now, when I learned how to do this, we used to have to twist them by hand. I mean, you it was really kind of a, a chore to do. And your, your twists never came out consistent. Uh, Consistency is good. Uniform, good. Tight weave is, or a tight twist is good. So here I am, a little contraption I made. See, it's on a uh, sewing machine pedal. So I can control the speed of the twist as it's twisting. Now... When I give it to gas here, tie that puppy off right there, snip off the excess. I did have a uh, loose hair here. Let's see what I can do with that. We're just going to have to get rid of it. If you lose a hair here and there, it's not a big deal as long as you're not losing a whole bunch. You know? You don't want to be losing a whole bunch. Because then uh, you're going to have inconsistency in your uh, twist. So here's a twist. So I'm going to work. If there's any loose threads, sometimes there are. I'm going to work those down to the end. Re-knot it. There we are. So what we have right now is all these twists that I did. Now I need four to five hundred of these to do a belt. <laughs> so you can see the, uh, you understand the time consumption involved here. Thank you.